Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com, the climate guy setting the record straight about climate. This video is titled, Climate Science Integrity Sinks to a Record Low. The news is full of stories about the Arctic being record hot this winter and the ice melting to a record low. We can't save the Arctic sea ice. Arctic has warmest winter with sea ice at record lows. It's just crazy, crazy stuff. So let's look at the actual Arctic temperatures instead of the ones being reported by journalists. At the time those stories were coming out, the Arctic was extremely cold, with temperatures around minus 30 degrees Celsius across most of the Arctic. And the cold air was plummeting into the eastern U.S., where we're having one of the coldest springs on record. And here we are on April 4th, 2018. Cold air is plummeting way down into the central U.S. and it extends all the way from Missouri over to India on the other side of the Earth. The Arctic is cold, not warm, and the ice isn't declining as they claim. This graph shows Arctic sea ice as measured by the National Snow and Ice Data Center in Boulder, Colorado, every day for the last 12 years. And the red line is the trend line. As you can see, there's been no trend in Arctic sea ice for 12 years. This map is also from the National Snow and Ice Data Center, and it shows current sea ice extent. The red line shows the 1981 to 2010 median, and the white area shows where sea ice currently exists. As you can see, the ice is right up to the median line everywhere except for in the Bering Sea, where last week's southerly winds blew the ice edge back towards the pole. It sure doesn't look like the ice is melting. In fact, the ice is almost exactly normal everywhere except for the Bering Sea. But the map is only two-dimensional. Let's look at the ice volume, too. Arctic sea ice volume is rapidly increasing this year. It's in the normal range, and it's much higher than the last two years. That sure doesn't look like a record low, either. This map from the Danish Meteorological Institute shows Arctic sea ice thickness. As you can see, the ice is very thick across most of the Arctic, five meters thick near the pole. Summer temperatures at the North Pole rarely get above about one degree Celsius. They're going to have a pretty hard time melting five meters of ice at one degree Celsius. But facts don't stop climate experts and the press from making ridiculous predictions. Ten years ago, National Geographic and Canada's top Arctic expert, David Barber, predicted that the North Pole was going to be ice-free that summer. NASA's top Arctic expert, Jay Zwally, was slightly more conservative. He predicted that the ice wouldn't be gone until 2012. Meanwhile, the Navy's top experts predicted that the Arctic would be ice-free by 2013. And Professor Peter Waddams from Cambridge University said, in the end, it will just melt away quite suddenly. Nobel laureate and inventor of the internet, Al Gore, was even more conservative. He predicted that the ice would last until 2014. The Times of London was even more conservative. They said the ice wasn't going to be gone until 2015. And in 2007, Mark Ceres, senior scientist at the government's Snow and Ice Data Center in Boulder, Colorado, said, The Arctic is screaming. In 2008, NASA's top climate scientist, James Hansen, the guy who really started the global warming scam 30 years ago, said the Arctic was going to be ice-free by 2018, this year. Hansen, echoing work by other scientists, said that in 5 to 10 years, the Arctic will be free of sea ice in the summer. Representative Ed Markey, Democrat, Massachusetts, said, Dr. Hansen was right. 20 years later, we recognize him as a climate prophet. I'm curious to know how Dr. Hansen plans to melt five meters of ice at the pole this summer, but perhaps I'm simply not qualified to understand such gibberish. And the sea ice scam isn't just occurring at the North Pole, it's also occurring at the South Pole. NOAA claims that sea ice at the South Pole is near a record low, when in fact sea ice extent is very close to the 1981 to 2010 median, almost everywhere at the South Pole, too. According to government experts, the ice was supposed to have been gone 10 years ago. But here we are in 2018, looking at the ice extent, and it's just about normal everywhere except for the Bering Sea. And the only reason it's low in the Bering Sea is because southerly winds blew the ice edge back. None of their predictions are coming true, yet they persist in making them over and over and over again. And the really amazing thing is that no matter how many times climate scientists are wrong, Democratic politicians and the fake news press keep parroting their lies. Visit Toto on the web at realclimatescience.com. He's been pulling back the curtain on junk science for a long time.